So good on him. And again, Brent Thompson's there. Um, Greg Cronin, you know, Greg Greg Cronin is there. So you know, there's enough familiarity, be, you know, for Ross to succeed down there. So, uh, moving on to the next question. This is a this is more like a water cooler talk subject, but we're gonna have this anyway. Uh, Simon Holmstrom on the first line. Um, for those of you who have followed this show now for years, um, you know me and my prospects. Um, if I can keep the prospects down longer until they're over ready, I'm all for it. However, I'm okay in terms of development. I'm okay with Simon Holmstrom playing on the first line to see if he can produce some points and it would actually force him to shoot the puck <laughs> on a line with Bo Horvat and Matt Barzell. Um, I'm intrigued by the idea. I'm happier now that he's down in Bridgeport, but again, for me, I would rather see Holmstrom dominate the American Hockey League. But again, Gary, in terms of development, because this kid's still 22 years old. This kid, for me, has it solid. This year, next year of development. He gets to play with probably the best center he's ever had in his career. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Give me your thoughts on the idea, at least the idea, of Simon Holmstrom playing on the first line with Bo Horvat. Um, I'm having a tough time swallowing that, if you will. Um, I like... I, I like his maturation process. It's building, but I I think that's asking just a wee bit too much. Okay. I would I would sincerely think at this point, although it's working well, I would like to see Engvall there for now. At okay. this point in time, I think okay. for now. Add a little more speed to, you know, I mean, Barzi's ridiculous. And Engvall is deceptive. His speed is deceptive. So I think really I would like to see that. Maybe stick him at line two. If you want to do that. I just don't, I just don't think it's a first line decision. Yeah. And I'm gonna respectfully disagree with Mark. He does have the skill. The problem is Bridgeport's been holding that leash on him because he's had to work on other parts of his game. That's always been part of the American Hockey League. They have you work on specific stuff all the time, which is why you see a lot of their goal numbers down. Um, for me, Simon Holmstrom needs to put up at least 50 points in Bridgeport. It, Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, I think if the situation is that he, that he is down there, I think the fact that there's a new coach there might also be a help. Um, it may give him a little bit more incentive. I mean, no, I know they may preach the same philosophy, sure, but maybe the change of scenery down there, putting Could him be. in a number one line might help. Could so be. if he doesn't get that spot that he should be, maybe, you know, maybe being on a number one line in a whole new, you know, even though it's the same system, it's a whole new philosophy. It's a whole new set of uh, management there. And that might help. Oh, yeah. And got, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, maybe I did not say this correctly enough. Believe me, guys, I would rather have Holmstrom down in the minors for the entire season, regardless of whether or not he's doing well or not. That, that, that's irregardless. Um, I would, I'm not worried about his numbers at all. From a development standpoint, though, playing with Bo Horvat, even for 10 to 15 games, is not a bad idea. Um, you know, I, you know, the question is, can Simon Holmstrom put up 50 points on the first line at this point? I don't think so, but you're not going to have a better chance of that than you have with Bo Horvat and Mar Matt Barzell on your line. Mm -hmm. The problem I think we all have at this point is that Holmstrom has that reluctance to shoot the puck. And then I don't know if you really want to stick Bo Horvat with two players on either side who do have a tendency to hesitate on their shot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's it, it again, 
I like the idea, even if it was short term for Simon Holmstrom. Um, but again, I like Gauthier on that first line. Him or Engvall on that first line, um, I would like to see if there's any kind of chemistry between those first three. Um, we already know this chemistry between Engvall, Nelson, and Paul Mary. Um, to see if there's I any know, kind that, of chemistry. That, 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 right, but that's what I was saying. You know, I like that second line structure. It's well, it's yeah. very good. But if you're going to have Simon here, I don't think you put. Too many times in Islander history, and we all know our history, you know, when you put a kid up at the first line that's not 100% ready, and by the way, Montreal just went up 2 nothing on Toronto. Um, um, you know, you don't want to put that much undue pressure. We've all seen it happen. You know, I can, go back to, I can go back to Dave Chazowski, for Christ's sake. You know? <laughs> yeah, wow, that's a Exactly. Name. Well, that tells you my age. That spots it right there, right. okay? But, you know, I just – don't think you really, you know, you want to, you want this to succeed, but maybe just a notch down, let him build it. And if sure. he's progressing well, then lift sure. him up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I, again, ideally, I would love for him to stay in Bridgeport for the entire season. Put him on that first line in Bridgeport. Hold on a second, Paul. Yep. Go ahead. And uh, there you go, nuts. 